Hi, this is Gary Rosenzweig. On this episode of MacMost Now, let's take a look at an obscure but useful feature of Safari called Snapback. Snapback allows you to mark specific pages and jump right back to them. This is instead of using the back feature which will go back to every single page you've ever visited. There's actually three different ways to use Snapback. Let's take a look at each one. The first way to use Snapback is to use Search Snapback. So say we're looking for something like campgrounds in Colorado. We type in the little search box at the top right of the Safari window. And we get our search results. Now say we select a site to look at. Say this one looks good. So we go ahead and we take a look at that one. Now notice right away that we have in the search box now a little orange arrow. So we dig deeper down into this site and maybe we'll click on some links in here and we keep going. Now if we actually click this little orange arrow what's going to happen is it's going to snap back to the latest search results. Click and there we go. We're right back to that. So this is very useful when you're searching for something. You get this great search page of results and you dig down into a site. You find out it's not what you wanted so you just click that snap back button and you end up all the way back at your search page. Sure you could do it from the back button here but sometimes that can get very long and complicated. So having that search snap back is very handy. The next type of snap back is a page snap back. So say you go to a website like macmost.com and you enter through the main home page. Now you decide to go deeper into the site. Maybe you say, oh well, look I can just uh, look at blog posts. And from blog posts I can go down into a blog posting right there. You'll notice that there's a little orange snapback in the address bar now. And that will snap back to the first page you visited on that website. So we click on that and it goes right back to the main Mac Most page. Now perhaps the most useful of all snapbacks is the manual page snapback. This allows you to set your own page to go back to. So for instance say you're at a website like MacMost. You go to the blogs and you see that well there's a lot of things I want to investigate here. So before you go investigating you want to set this page to be the snapback. You can see right now there's an orange snapback there which will take you back to the MacMost main page. But instead I'm going to go to the history menu and mark page for snapback. The snapback icon goes away because we're already at the page that we'll be snapping back to. But we go down into a blog post and we'll see that it appears now. And when I click on it, it goes back to the blog post. So if you want to say investigate a whole bunch of blog posts and you know some of those are going to take you to some other sites and dig down deeper but you want to go back there, you can set this page. You can also see in the history menu you can not only mark the page for snapback but you can uh, look at, uh, go directly back to the page that you wanted to without clicking on the icon or use the keyboard shortcut. And you can also do the same thing for search results snapbacks. So snapbacks are subtle but useful tools. And that type of thing it's not going to change your world but once you start using them you'll probably find you use it all the time and it saves you a few seconds here and there. Until next time this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now. <laughs>